Well, every coach will say it's a team effort when their guys pull off a huge win, but Mike McDonald couldn't not shout out defensive end Leonard Williams for the way he's played these last few weeks, and his effort against his former team, the New York Jets, was one for the books. While it was a homecoming for Williams, it was also one for, for Geno Smith, who's playing back at MetLife for the first time, not wearing a Jets jersey, so he decides to send A.J. Barner home, too, into the end zone for his second NFL touchdown. Here's that pick six that we were talking about. Williams intercepts, bobbles, and takes off. The big man makes a 92-yard return. That's a 300-pound defensive end hitting a top speed of over 17 miles per hour for his first ever touchdown. And then he sprawls out in the end zone as you would expect. And you would think he's probably a little tired, but he's not even close to being finished. The Jets are already second and long. Williams comes in to make it third and even longer. He takes down Aaron Rodgers, not once, but twice. I think it's really obvious why they call him the big cat because look at this. He is on the prowl. I don't know how this works, but if we can nominate Leonard Williams for player of the week, um, he's just playing at an all-time elite level. And to, you know, to have a pick six, I think they told me he was going about 17 and a half miles an hour, which was pretty fast for a man that size. So. <laughs> you can check out uh, Williams' stats on the bottom of your screen there. Two sacks, an interception, a touchdown, a blocked extra point. The Seahawks extend their win to three games in a row with a final score of 26-21. to 21. And they just beat their NFC West opponent, the Cardinals, last week. They'll see them one more time next week, but this time on the road. Kickoff is just after 1 o'clock on Sunday.